gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to hand you back to Kim Simito Beale. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, as the excitement is now beginning to build towards the climax of the climax of four days thrilling judging. I'm sure you can all feel the anticipation cracking in the arena's electric atmosphere this evening. Perhaps it's a celebration of all things canine. It's quite breathless here at Crufts 2012 because the ring, we now continue in the main ring with our final group, which is the Hounds. The judge about to be introduced and brought into the ring. Keith Thornton from Manchester, there he is. Escorted by... by Gerald King, of course. And they have bred 21 champions. One litter of nine puppies in the mid 70s contained five ch champions, still a record, I believe. They also bred the Afghan breed record holder, champion Solomon Skull from Karnak, with his wife Brenda and Yvette Short. Additionally, Keith and Brenda kept a kennel of racing greyhounds and owned many top winners. Retiring from breeding in the late 80s, Keith put his knowledge of dogs to good use. As a, as with a specialist pet food company. He also enjoyed a second career as a racing pundit. So, I think we're now ready for the first of the breeds to come in this evening. But before that, please show your appreciation once again, a warm Crufts welcome for Mr. Keith Thornton. First of our breeds in this evening is the Afghan So you join hound. us for the hound group, and here's the first, the Afghan hound. Gezankol Enrique, handled in the ring by and Geraldine the Hughes. And the Basenji, sparky three-year-old dog with Rusty Grayson from Saddleworth, up there on the borders it's of Lancashire and Yorkshire. The Bassett Fove to Britannia, bred by Susan Blowman, handled by Sarah Robertson, who also owns the little dog. And Jessica's dog is, is owned by Jessica, this Grand Bassett Griffin von Dion, home chapel bien en vie. Next up, we have the Bassett Griffin von Dion Petit. And here's little Jilly, the Petit Bassett Griffin von Dion that was reserved best in show here at Crufts last year. Can she do it again? Here's a beagle, squiddy, two-year-old dog, owned by Serena Parker and Graham Stevens and from Chester. The Bloodhound champion, Marksbury Sirius of Maplemead, bred by Suzanne Emrys-Jones, who also handles in the ring. And the Borzoi, this classic line, Sue Carter with Luke, three-year-old dog from Thorsby Park, Knotts. The long-haired Dachshund, Bronya Absolute. Owned and handled by Fran Mitchell, who also bred him. And the miniature long-haired Dachshund here comes from Norwich in Norfolk. Roy Woods has brought it here, four-year-old Joseph. And now we have the smooth-haired Dachshund. The smooth-haired Dachshund, bred, owned and handled by Marilyn Norton. This is champion Matsell Mildred. The miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. And the miniature version as well. Alvin, 21-month-old dog, owned by Susan and Jason Hunt from Swindon in Wiltshire. And now the first of the wires, the wirehead Dachshund. The wirehead Dachshund, Brystock Black Truffle. Bred by Halston Pugh and Next Christine the Fraser. Have the and from Washington, D.C. in America, Travis Wright has come here with Wisty, two-year-old bitch. The beautiful lines of the deer hound. This one, Scarf O'Cochran, I think it says. O'Cochrane. <laughs> O'Cochrane. This is the Finnish Spitz. Pet name is AJ, nine year old dog, owned by uh, Ian and Lucy Byrne, Joan Bateman, and animals. Melissa Chanos. The Foxhound, classic lines. This one, Dazzleby Dandelion, four year old dog. 
This greyhound is a four-year-old dog called Monty. Bit Orange and Primav Primavera and Pierluigi Primavera from Rome in Italy own this one. Annette and Alicia, Mo Alicia Morley's Hamilton Stavari, Kilcavin, Sir Galahad at Anamira. Makey or Mackey, he's a dog, two year old. Steph Marston Pollock from Penrith in Cumbria own this Ibithy Hound. Followed by the Irish Wolfhound. The giant of them all, the Irish Wolfhound. Owned and handled by Louise Pinkley. This is Pops. And now we see the Norwegian Elkhound. The Norwegian Elkhound here. Ziva, 13 month old bitch. From Bilth Wells in Powys, in Wales. The Otter Hound, champion and Irish champion, keeps got connoisseur Hugo, owned, handled, and bred by Ray Garner. And the startling looking Pharaoh Hound, Carmel, almost two year old, this bitch, owned by Jenny Hall from Sweden. The Portuguese Pedengo, plush court celebrity. Hello, <laughs> that's her name. Owned and handled by um, owned by Stuart Next Judge. The ring is the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Handled by Betty and Judge. And the Rhodesian Ridgeback is called Fabu. He's a two-year-old dog owned by Sue and Graham Armitage from Newcastle upon Tyne. And now we see the Saluki. The Saluki, Rafi, bred by Tony Quick. Owned by Cheryl Steer, John and Lorraine Fitzgerald, and Luke Next Johnston. We have the and here comes the Slugi. This is Gila, two year old bitch, owned by Inga Gellius, also from Sweden. Another one from Sweden Last here. But no means least, the Whippet. And bringing up the rear, the Whippet. This is Peanut, bred by oh, Leslie Smith, owned by Hannah, Hannah Russell. Fox, Graham Hill and Annette Oliver. Well, thank you, kid. In this group, there are breeds designated as high profile because their make and shape can mean they're prone to health problems. Best of breed winners from these high profile breeds have all been checked by the appointed veterinary surgeon before competing tonight. The Bassett Hound Best of Breed winner will not appear in the group tonight because its award was not confirmed following its veterinary check. As a result of man's various needs in hunting, different types. So here's the lineup. There's my gorgeous Envy, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendien, and Jilly, the little petit next door. The Beagle, the Bloodhound, the Borzoi, the Dachshunds here, standards and miniatures, of course, in all three coats. And the wonderful Deerhound there, and the Finnish Spitz and the Foxhound. The hounds really are spectacular, aren't they, Dean? The giant of the Irish wolfhound, Norwegian elkhound, the otterhound, also a dog of great substance. And towards the end of the lineup, there's the little whippet. And we're beginning with the Afghan hound. So first we have the... Afghan hound here. This is Eric. He's a four and a half year old dog. Geraldine and Colin Hughes brought him here from Tamworth in Staffordshire, just up the road, not too far. This is a dog that loves watching television, but I don't think that's its finest point. 195 Afghans were here today, and this is the real glamour for us of the show ring. The silky coat is to many the greatest attraction of this breed. A lot of time and energy goes into creating this wonderful appearance. One of the typical sighthounds of the world, the Afghan. They come originally from the mountains of Afghanistan. Long top knot on the top of their head. You see how the tail is carried there so beautifully, curled, level, well-muscled back, powerful driving hindquarters, large feet, tail always held up when on the move. That is just such a wonderful movement, glorious. The Afghan. And here we have the Basenji, champion Tokaji, American gigolo. Sparky's three years old, bred, of course, by the very well-known partnership of Hallam, Hardy, Kite and Gillespie, owned by Rusty Grayson, who's handling in the ring. This hound's described as gazelle-like, and you can really see that in that intelligent head. Dogs resembling 
Just a few little wrinkles when those ears are moving. Lovely dark almond-shaped eyes. Quite high on the leg, the Basenji. Deep brisket, though, and the curl of that tail over the back, very characteristic. Swift, long striding gait. It's a small dog, but with great power. Lovely and parallel coming towards you there. And head carried proudly on that lovely arched neck. Suzanne Bloman bred this uh, Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Sarah Robertson handles and owns this lovely dog from Wallingford in Oxfordshire. Tory, he's called. He's three years old. He plays with his uh, pretty friends, likes nothing more than curling up for a cuddle. Nice, happy-go-lucky dog. Comes, as the name would imply, from France. A recent arrival in Britain, already gaining in popularity. 53 of them were here and judged today. The eye is slightly oval in shape. Ears set level with the eye. Ideally, the end in a point. Softer hair on the body, the neck, short and muscular. The tail quite thick at the base there, tapering to a point. Carried a little bit like a sickle on the move. You can see that there, <laughs> waving at the end. A quick gait, striding out quite well. The legs are slightly shorter than the length of uh, his back. She's always wagging her tail. This is bien en vie. She's my bitch. Grand Basset Griffon Vendien, shown by dear friend Yolanda Hussman. Medium sized, rough coated hound. They have the most wonderful, noble bearing. Proud head carriage. Those ears, very characteristic. A strong dog, live and stepping out. Nice level top line with a slight arch over the loin to provide power from behind. A happy breed, ever wagging tail. The coat should be harsh, but quite long and flat, standing off the body, protect them in all weathers and in all cover, designed to hunt all day long. Oh, I can't help it, I feel proud as punch that she's so in the you group should thing. be. I think, I think it's wonderful. I'll let you talk about her because you know more about her than anyone else, but she's showing very well, Jess. Congratulations, nice to have your dog in the ring. It's not the first time you've had one there either, is it? This is the Petit Basset Griffin Vendion. This was her best in show here last year. This is Jilly, two-year-old bitch, owned by Sarah Robertson and Wendy Doherty. Gavin Robertson showing in the ring here. 13 cc's this dog has had. It's a, a splendid little Petit Basset and uh, still relatively rare in the UK. Very low to the ground, very well balanced and active. Short legged, compact, capable of a good day's hunting. As you can see, happy and extrovert right from the start. The ears are narrow, they're covered with nice long hair, deep chest. The back, medium length, so too is the tail. The movement has a lot of drive, nice and free at whatever pace it's travelling. The Beagle. This one's Serenaka Foxtrot, Squiddy, two years old, owned by Serena Parker and Graham Stevens, who bred this dog, handled by Serena in the ring. The Beagle, of course, classic hound, a scent hound, lower to the ground, shorter legged but of great substance and fantastic working ability. You can see the slight dome of the skull there, the ears very important, relatively low set, long, supple and fine, a strong athletic body, quite heavy boned for a small dog. Straight forelegs striding out, but a nice heavy muscled rear being used to effective bounce there. The tail, often called a stern in the hound group, is long and carried sabre-like, really being used on the move. Well, the instantly recognisable bloodhound. This is Dorcas, three and a quarter years old. It, uh, it's a bitch, owned by Janet Alford, and uh, come from Devon, bred by Suzanne Emrys-Jones, who's actually handling in the ring. 
the bloodhound originally a breed from belgium horse with this legendary ability to follow human scent over all types of of terrain great size great dignity amazing ability to follow the, follow the human scent as i've said gives him an almost legendary reputation that uh, thriller writers uh, get a great deal of pleasure from uh, exploiting all this looseness head of uh, skin around the head and these ears all help the dog to be so good at scenting that helps the air to get into those wide nostrils tail long thick tapering to a point it's carried a little low there sometimes they carry them a little bit higher when they're on the move it's been a long long day and it's a big dog average height 66 centimeters for the dog the graceful lines of the russian wolfhound the borzoi Champion Rosby Shulwood Snowhawk, Luke's three years old. Sue Carter, bred, owns and handles this dog. Graceful and dignified is what we're looking for. That coat, very characteristic, silky, flat or with a slight wave. Lots of nice heavy feathering, particularly on the flanks and under the chest. The head so characteristic, long and lean with that domed skull. Tiny little ears, pointed and delicate, high set, folded back so that you can really see the lines of the skull. The jaws are punishing though, very powerful jaws obviously to have done his original job of work. characteristically deep chested there's a lovely curve to that back line dropping to the croup which is the rear end of the dog and then the line being carried on so beautifully with that tail carriage Tom Johnson came from Scotland. effortless power from the, the borzoi on the table there the long-haired dachshund the first of six different dachshund breeds three standard size three miniature sizes the template virtually the same for each just the size is different this is the standard long-haired dachshund jed is 15 months old he's a dog owned by mrs fran mitchell from newcastle on time who's actually handling there as well three cc's this dog has won fran says he's an absolute gentleman he likes fishing in the large natural pond in the garden i bet he does try and keep a dachshund out of the water very popular very intelligent and faithful good both in town and country active dogs once mature they'll take as much exercise as you can give them they are real hounds though have a tendency to go deaf selective de deafness when they want it certainly when they're off the lead they don't naturally respond to a good recall great fun to live with dachshunds so this is the long hair jed and now we see the miniature long haired shrink the standard in the hot wash and you end up with wild star renowned joseph four years old owned bred and handled by roy woods that long head almond shaped eyes set slightly obliquely the skull is just slightly arched which gives the most beautiful profile high set ears are usually mobile in these little dachshunds and you want a long level back line strong and muscular these little dogs were meant to go to ground remember they're working dogs essentially and in the long heads you want soft straight coat with a very slight wave and well feathered you can see the size of the feet quite clearly there this is a powerful little dog despite its size well this is the standard smooth haired dachshund and again as we've said the standard remains the same for each of these breeds it's identical except the size the size actually is determined not so much by height but weight and it's between approximately 12 kilograms is where the standard should be whilst the miniatures tend to be around about four and a half kilograms 
Loyal companions. Nice smooth coat, of course, here, the most common colors, black and tan, red, ranging from a, a clear red, obvious red there that we're looking at, to a shaded red. There's also silver dapple as well. Very versatile little dog. Dachshunds have strong teeth and a powerful jaw, as was necessary for their work with uh, in badger sets, which is what they were originally bred to do, to go to ground in badger sets. Dachshund is a short leg dog, not a, a long back dog. It's quite a distinction. Here today by Wendy Barrow. The male is best to breed, number 193. And here we have the miniature smooth Dachshund Carpaccio. Captain Scarlet is a champion, owned and bred by Susan and Jason Hunt, handled by Jason in the ring. You really get a good shot there of the fact that these dogs have a massive breastbone. Plenty of heart room there for going down tunnels. Powerfully muscled, strong, short little legs. And the smooth coat dense and short lovely head carriage there helped by a long muscular neck bit of a shake and powering around from the rear little ears folded back in concentration the reach on those forelegs is really impressive for such a small dog Well, here we come to the standard wire-haired Daxton. This is a two-year-old bitch called Truffle, owned by Halcyon Pugh and Christine Fraser from Exeter in Devon. They'll be absolutely delighted to have got their lovely girl through to this judging stage in the group. As I said, uh, the Daxons are not long back dogs they are short leg dogs it's quite a medium-sized dog there if it had longer legs but i'd find them most attractive the wire hair with the uh that ought to be covered the whole body should be covered with a short straight harsh coat with a dense undercoat with the exception of the jaw the eyebrows chin and ears which have these long whiskers on them and uh, it's an expression of a mustache and a beard there there are lovely animals to live with lovely straight back on them and that nice movement there this little girl moving very nicely indeed in the ring quite a studious expression on its face too really concentrating Cena Thorne Andrews bred this little chap and I absolutely love I should yes it is a chap and I say I love her names champion Drake sleep mass wisteria <laughs> Wistie's two years old owned and handled by Travis Wright and this of course the miniature wire haired Dachshund again you can see the prominent breastbone long rib cage powerful little loins that's the gap between the back of the rib cage and the hind legs they're actually long striding for those little tiny legs no clipped movement here striding out tail coming off the line of the back there can be carried down or out level Zena Thorne Andrews always producing lovely miniature Daxies, miniature wires. Slightly larger wiry coat here. This is on the Scottish Deerhound, a very ancient hunting dog. This is a four year old dog called Scarf. Owned by Bettina Adams, handling as well there. She didn't breed it though, uh, in, near Pershaw, that's near Worcester. Caroline Yvonne van Zanten Boomgarten actually bred this particular one. So it's uh, no Scottish origins for this particular one. This is a dog that's hunted red deer for thousands of years, more accustomed now to the show ring, but has remained similar in type over the centuries. Head long, broadest at the ears, eyes dark brown or hazel. Four quarters there, the shoulders should not be too far apart, nice straight legs. 
general formation like that of a greyhound. The characteristic coat and the bold spitz type little bird dog that is the Finnish spitz. This one champion, an American champion, Kuniak's Coven, AJ, bred by Ian, Lucy, Linda, Tony Stewart and Karen Byrne, handled by Ian in the ring. Small cocked ears, sharply pointed, and that tail over the back instantly identify this as a spitz type, but very much the hunting hound. Oh, we need to stop and have a pee. Well, that's fair enough. This isn't that's the first time now. it's happened at the show this year. <laughs> We've had quite a few toilet moments. Shall we start again, AJ? <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> that coat much closer on the head and on those four legs, longish, standing off all over the body. Such a glorious colour, instantly recognisable. And now the traditionally handsome foxhound, rarely regarded as a household pet. This one bred, handled and owned by Rosemary Griffiths near Crewe in Cheshire. It's a four-year-old dog called Dandelion. Loves agility with uh, digit dog training. Loves swimming in the pool at home in the, water month, in the warmer months. A real extrovert. The head should be have a flat skull, long square muzzle, large nostrils, medium-sized hazel or brown eyes. Ears are set high and carried close to the head. That movement has a free striding. It's tireless, and the dog can move with a good gallop. No roll in the gait at all. Nice and straight in line. Coat is short, dense, and weatherproof. And they can be virtually any recognized hound color. The greyhound, very much Keith Thornton's breed. Dogs he's immensely interested and very knowledgeable about. This one's come from Italy to compete here. Italian, international, and Hungarian champion. Fion Clown Paramount at Sobers. Handled in the ring by Itta Arendt's Primavera. This one a brindle. Head like a snake, neck like a drake. And you can really see it there. Such proud head carriage on the Greyhound. A hound so obviously built for speed with that deep brisket. Wonderful, strong, muscular back line. Long, straight legs to carry him swiftly along the ground. Best at a gallop, of course, only seen trotting here. But as he begins to extend going round, you can really feel the potential for power there. This is the Hamilton Stavari. It's called Norman, six-year-old dog. Owned by Annette and Alicia Morley from Lincolnshire. Alicia's handling in the ring. If my notes here are correct, she's only 12 years old. The breeder was Michelle Longman. This dog has won a best in show at a club show. Of course, CCs aren't available to this breed. This is a Swedish hunting dog, but it hunts singly, not in a pack, unlike the foxhound. It was named after the founder of the Swedish Kennel Club, Count Hamilton. Four legs are straight, below very muscular shoulders, a straight back, slightly inclined just behind the shoulder. We'll see that from the side there, you can see. Lovely parallel legs when it's on the move. Two-layered coat, close to an un a short close undercoat as well. Chosen from an entry of 20. Owned and bred by Steph Marsden Pollock. Mackie was originally imported from Spain. This is the Abethan Hound. Tall, narrow, finely built all through, but agile and a tireless hunter. They're also great characters and immensely naughty at home. Fine, long head there, not too much stop. The ears large and erect, very important. 
lean long neck carrying that head proudly level back line with a long actually quite flat rib cage actually that's to allow the shoulders to come back and forwards when this dog extends at a gallop they can reach tremendous speeds smooth or rough coated this one is smooth now we have the tallest and biggest of all the hounds the Irish Wolfhound, this is Pops, only 23 months old. It's a bitch, owned by Louise Pinkney, Louise Handley in the ring. Joe and Jackie Watson bred this. They come from Bridlington in East Yorkshire. This is its first CC today. It's had two reserve CCs. Massive, well-balanced throughout. Great size, strength, and symmetry in the Irish Wolfhound. Muscular, graceful, a lot of power. The long head shouldn't be too broad. Moderately pointed, not so much as the deer hound that we saw earlier. Dark, elliptical shaped eyes and small ears for such a large dog. The back is long with loins arched, muscular thighs. Moderately large and round feet give it a very attractive, easy and active gait. A rough and harsh coat. Norwegian elk hounds are represented by number 20118. Barbara Stokes's Kestos Kennel is a regular visitor to the group ring at Crufts. This one is Ziva, just 13 months old, winning their first CC, the Norwegian elk hound. Again, a dog like the finished Spitz. You can see the Spitz type there, but quite different. This one is compact, solid, dealt to deal with an elk, which is a large, powerful animal. Quite square in outline, Norwegian elk hounds with a tail curled characteristically over the back and these lovely harness markings in shades of grey. The coat is close and abundant, soft under, coarse outer, so characteristic of dogs that have to work in horrible weather. But you can see the agility of this dog, even though it is compact and quite heavy for its size. Agile and enduring. Using its ears beautifully there, lovely expression. Well, this is the Otter Hound, bred, handled and owned by Ray Ganner from Hillingdon in Middlesex. This five-year-old dog, Hugo, is a champion, Irish champion and French champion. 23 cc's this dog has taken. This is a dog that's built to gallop on land, but actually to work in the water. It's got a truly rugged appearance, as you can see there. Rough double coat is extremely weather resistant. Likely to bring quite a lot of the countryside back into the house when you've taken them out for a walk. The coat color can be any recognized hound colors, but not liver and white. The ear is quite unique, long and pendulous. The body deep, cha deep chested, strong with a level top line. The gait is loose and shambling at the walk, but quite long striding and it has a nice smooth trot and gallop. Northgate's Kalahari Queen is too young to be a champion yet on the continent in Sweden where she comes from and her handler Jenny Hall another person that we've seen regularly in the group ring here at Crufts recently. Kalahari Queen was bred by Hannah and Kari Ukura. And the Pharaoh Hound, of course, an ancient breed, still looking almost exactly the same as it did on ancient Egyptian paintings on pottery. It's a medium-sized hound, clean lines you can see there, and of great nobility. That long skull you can see coming towards you, ears being used, high set and erect, but laid back when moving and concentrating. Lovely level back line there, quite a deep chest. And Jenny's always brilliant at getting these dogs to extend out on the trot, where you can really see what the pharaoh would be like if it was working out in the field. Well, this is the Portuguese Podengo. His name, Hello, three years old. It's a little bitch owned by Stuart Judge, handled in the ring by uh, Betty Judge, who also bred. 
No CCs at present for this breed. It's the national breed of Portugal, as I say. They come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. We just have the small recognized here in the UK. Well established in Portugal from the 16th century. Hugely popular today. Still used for hunting by sight, scent, and hound uh, and sound. Greatly valued as a companion, too, because of his loving and obedient nature. Handy sized dog. Considerable hardiness and a great personality makes him a, an ideal little pet, town or country. This, the big game hunter of the hound group, characterized by that ridge of hair that seems to be growing the wrong way down the middle of its back. Bred by Jill Lawless, owned by Sue and Graham, Graham Armitage. Fabu's just two years old. You could see the ridge really clear there, clearly there with the little rosettes at the shoulders and then striking down the back. Longish head, flat skull. Lithe body. This dog designed to help in hunting big game, including lions. So they need to be fearless and very forward going. Straight in front, deep chested, a powerful dog throughout. Strong rear with nice flowing angles there, providing the drive from behind. Short, dense coat, sleek and glossy. Remember, originally this dog worked in Africa in great heat, but needed a protective coat, free and active stride there. Well, this is the graceful and dignified Saluki. This is Rafi. And this boy is owned by Cheryl Steak, John and Lorraine Fitzgerald, and Luke Johnson. Uh, they come from Lincolnshire. Luke Johnson handling Tony Quick was the breeder. Two CCs, third one today. Very ancient breed. Grace, symmetry, endurance, strength, narrow head with a wide skull, those lovely straight forelegs. The neck is strong and well-muscled. The chest is deep and quite narrow when viewed from the front, which you'll see in just one moment. Oh, no, they're not coming towards us. Going straight up and down. So Keith Thornton can take a good look at the, uh, at the shape at the front. The movement, the Saluki really comes into its own with this loping gait. And now it's the turn of the Saluki. Judge Ben Reynolds Frost chose 2056. The elegant racy lines of the Saluki. Quill has come all the way from Sweden to compete, owned, handled, and bred by Inga Gellius. Flat skull and a wedge-shaped muzzle, very little stop. That's the fall between the eyes. An elegant neck. This is a breed which comes from the deserts and mountains of North Africa. Long, straight legs. Many centuries as a typical working Deep-chested with a, a quite severe tuck-up almost, and the haunch bones are supposed to show on this breed. They carry very little spare flesh as part of the breed characteristic. Nonetheless, strong and elegant on the move. <laughs> and a little playful. <laughs> the last of our hounds, the Whippet. This is Peanut. He's a five-year-old dog. Hannah Russell is the owner. And uh, handling in the ring, Leslie Smith was the breeder. Dainty little dog, delicate balance of muscularity with neatness, power, and elegance there. Very low maintenance dog in terms of its coat and cleanliness. Long and lean shaped head. Eyes bright and oval shaped. Small, fine, rose shaped ears. The neck long and arched, very muscular. The forelegs straight and upright. This is a dog of gentle, affectionate, and even disposition. 
So you join us as Keith Thornton is about to make his cut from the Hound Group. Walking down the line to take another look before he does so. Past the Deerhound, the finished Spitz, the Foxhound, sleek lines of the Greyhound, his breed of course. Mixture of sight hounds and scent hounds, the tall ones and the little ones lower to the ground. Now he's striding towards the front of the line to make his cut. And I can't help being nervous because mine's at the front end of the line. <laughs> well, he's walking towards the front of the line, so you can maybe grow in confidence here, Jess. The Afghan he's taking the Afghan. Oh, he's Walk not. past us. But he's, he's taking the petit, petit basse, delighted Jilly's in the cut. The Borzoi, the little miniature smooth head, Dachshund. He's pulled the Deerhound. He's pulling the Greyhound. That's an honor from a Greyhound specialist. Round to the far end of the line. He's taking the Pharaoh. The graceful Saluki and the Slugi. I'm not sure the whippet was in there, but the whippet's coming out anyway, so hopefully it was. So we have the Afghan, the little Petit Basset that won reserve best in show last year, the Borzoi, the miniature smooth Dachshund, the Deerhound, the Greyhound, the Pharaoh, the gorgeous Saluki, the Slugi, and at the tail end of the line, the little Whippet. Ten in all for the selection, my word. So, so now they move again. Hound. This is Eric, the Afghan hound. Happy to show off the Afghan, always a spectacular and popular dog in the show ring, and certainly at this stage. And here she goes, little Jilly, champion sole trader Peekaboo, just two years old, making her second appearance in the Hound Group at Crufts. She won it last time, can she do it again? Sue Carter will be very happy to be able to take Luke up and down again, to be seen again, this lovely Borzoi. So elegant, very distinctive. The Russian Wolfhound. The miniature smooth -haired Dachshund. And here they go, Jason Hun steering the little miniature smooth haired Dachshund champion, Carpaccio Captain Scarlet. Alvin, just 21 months old already with seven CCs to his credit. He's a perky little chap. No, he goes and here the comes deer the Scottish Deerhound, Scarf. A scarf or cocaine comes from near Pershaw, which is Worcestershire area, central England. Bettina Adams there, the greyhound, enjoying her the moment. And the greyhound taking another run across the green carpet. International Italian and Hungarian champion Fian Clan Paramount at Sobers. And the striking red colour, this wonderful fair hound, Pharaoh Hound, with uh, Miss Jenny Hall from Torpsbrook in Sweden. The Saluki, 20535. George Enjo, Mirzam at Fernlock. Rafi, so ably handled by his young handler there. Luke Johnson, bred by Tony Quick, owned by Cheryl, John, Lorraine, and Luke himself. Now off goes the Slugi, 2056. And the Slugi, pet name is Kila. Two year old bitch, this one, Inga Gilius, who's come from Sweden to show the dog off. And the last of our finalists, the Whippet, 2056. And here goes the Whippet, champion Willing Wisp star trooper, Peanut, bred by Leslie Smith. 
handled by Hannah Russell, who also owns this little dog. Well, like the Terrier group before it, I do think this is an excellent group. We have varying shapes and sizes, everything from the mini smooth Dachshund up to the Borzoi and the Deerhound. He's going to move them again together, but what he's doing is reorganizing them so that the little dogs aren't run over by the big ones, I think. Getting them in size order. Yes, he's bringing the smaller dogs forward. Judge's prerogative to move the dogs however he or she wishes to see them. It's a bit like musical chairs, isn't it? It just makes it very confusing for us. <laughs> so you take your eyes off the off the, the ring for one second, and you come back and the dogs are in a totally different position. And here they and go. Here we go. can see why he's done what he's done. The Pharaoh Hound leading the way. The Slugi there and the putty. Bassett Griffin Von Dion. Lovely action from the whippet there at the back of that line, and now he's going to move the bigger dogs. Rearranging them again. Smallest going first? Or no? I think maybe he used to work for the railways and he shunted wagons. <laughs> Let's get them. <laughs> I think this is rather fun, actually. It is. It's fascinating. It's lovely. And here they go again. The elegance of the Afghan, the Borzoi, the Greyhound, and that lovely Deerhound. And he hasn't run that little Dachshund around yet. He's going to get a run of honour on his own. Oh. Well, I think he's mightily grateful. He would there have been ploughed under. Yes, bless. And the biggest round of applause, of course, <laughs> for those little legs hurtling round the ring. Uh, it's very, very kind, uh, Mr Thornton, to run them round that way. I think that's splendid. I've enjoyed that. He's a delightful man, and he's managed to bring his personality out in the ring. Take another look. A Saluki. Oh, actually, no, the Saluki hadn't run, so there we are. It's the second, second movement for the Saluki around the ring. This young man moving this dog so nicely. Great pace. Well, the boards are out. It's made his decision. And it's straight in, no messing. The Borzoi. Luke, three years old. Sue Carter owns, bred, and handles there from Thorsby Park in Nottinghamshire. That's group one. And second reserve, group two. Reserve best in show last year, now second in the group this year. And the Saluki gets group three. Rafi. Luke Johnson, this young man, handling in the ring. He's a good handler. And the little miniature Smooth Daxon gets group four. Young Alvin, 21 months old. But the winner of the group, it's the Borzoi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while our judges is thanking the other exhibitors, please give a warm so there it is we have the last of our finalists for tonight's best in show competition winning the hound group the borzoi magnificent head on that borzoi there moving straight into camera and here comes the presentation party party gerald king escorting mr niels eric armanson who's the chairman of the swedish kennel club who's presenting to sue carter And this isn't the case of the trophy being bigger than the dog. Wonderful moment for her. She bred that, she owned it, she handled it. And Gavin Robertson's going to be a happy man again. Oh, absolutely. Thrilled to bits for them. I'm sorry your baby didn't make the cut, Jess, but um, I'm afraid that's life, isn't oh, it? Oh, I was just pleased that she was in there. She got in the ring, <laughs> yes. 
And that lovely Saluki. What a happy moment for Luke. Little thing. Bless it. <laughs> it's no idea it's won anything, has it? And there they go on there. Lap of honour. We'll see the Borzoi again in a little over three quarters of an hour in the final.